Uh, Father, in Jesus' name, I am grateful for you, are God, and you are good for me. This far you have brought me, you are Ebenezer, and you are faithful. I just want to let you know that you are good to me, and uh, so far you have blessed me with money. And because of that, I'm just returning you a favor by returning to you, by giving somebody else the same money. And so we also thank you that um, I am not like this person over here. I gave him money to allow me to park my car in the CBD, but he ate it, then went on to, to mind his own business. I asked him and refused. I asked him to allow me to park my vehicle. He refused. But you know, God, you know, you know that... Uh, you know that I am your child, and because I am your child, I know that eventually that money will come back. And also, I just want to let you know that I have been faithful to you. I even, I even helped that brother over there to, to get a lady. So, I've, I, and I just want to let you know that when you bring mine, she has to be better than that one, but it's, it's okay. And also, uh, my pastor is driving a, a relatively nice car. He's driving a Pro Box. And he's driving faster than me, and it's okay. Eventually, I'll have a better one so that I can just overtake him on the bypass as he's going home to show him that I'm better than him. Also, my good brother is having a very nice system, a very nice business. Uh, and I thank you, Lord, for giving him that nice business. I just want to let you know that I also have the business. And since he has the customers just want to let you know that because i'm giving my tithe just do me the favor and also give me that business of his and also the customer so that it can be even because if i'm giving you tithe it doesn't make sense if i don't have customers so god uh, right now i'm also thank you for the opportunity you've given me you've just given me a new customer right now and so i just want to go and service him and then come back later in jesus name i pray amen Dear God, I am a sinner. I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. See, it, hard, it is hard to talk about prayer because people immediately assume that they know. They have already made up their mind, already given it a go. We take it at surface value, accepting the superficial definition, a definition defined by our job, society, and even religion. We shut down the possibility of prayers because we limit our prayers to our experience. But our experience is not the truth because it was limited to our expectance. And we think that prayers are not relevant. But, my friend, prayer is the only element, the only element necessary for our survival and for our development. The Bible doesn't describe prayer as an optional accessory. When you pray, or this is how you pray, prayer is an absolute necessity. I am a Christian, but I don't pray. Sounds like quite a contradiction. I'm a guitarist, but I don't play. Now, that's a concept that you won't listen. To help you understand, let me start by clearing out what prayer isn't. Prayer is not a wishful thinking. It's not a pastime for the dying. It's not a hobby for good people. It's not a performance or trying. It's not limited to a church. And it's not a waste of time. It's not speaking to yourself, trying to convince your mind. We are not listing off a shopping list in hopes that he might come through. He's not a genie in a lamp. He wants relationship with you. See, we are not praying to a painting of a figure on a cross, but the one who crossed the gap so that we won't be lost. He's still alive today, waiting for us. It is more tragic than Romeo when we don't show him love. To not pray is to say, oh God, I can make it on my own. It's to reject a tour guide and climbing the mountain alone. He's scrambling in deep waters, barely managing to float while he's standing on the shore offering a lifeboat. Sure, we pray when we need things or when a tragedy occurs. Is prayer your steering wheel 
or is it just a spare tire? Do you pray in good times or just when things are dire? See, prayer is to a Christian what an engine is to a ship. It's the powerhouse, the motor, and without it, we would sink. Martin Luther once said that to pray is like to take a breath. So if we are not praying, it's a sign that we are spiritually dead. Prayer requires faith. That's believing in what you cannot see. It's living in his promises, not in your own reality. It's seeing your freedom while still in these chains. It's believing in healing while still feeling the pain. It's believing that a journey without God is pure pretense. And to hit the destination, all you need is God's presence. Thank you.